Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2012 Nissan Altima. This one is just a standard 2.5 S model. As you can see, this one is finished off in a gray exterior. It really does look good on the vehicle. You do get body-colored mirrors, as well as body-colored door handles with your intelligent entry built in. Some satin silver trim around the windows, as well as your fuel cap is on the driver's side. Overall, I have to say, I mean, considering this car was new when I was in high school, I really think this generation has aged very well. And around the rear, you can see your dual exhaust down below, your Altima and 2.5 S badges. And coming up to this side, this one is riding on a set of Primewell tires. They are 215, 60, R16s, so 16-inch seal wheels with your typical Nissan wheel covers. I have to say, too, the wheel covers on this one look like they have been replaced at some point. They are basically brand new. And up front, you can see your halogen headlights, chrome accented grille. Go ahead and get in. This one does include your typical Nissan key fob. Lock, unlock, press and hold. It will pop the trunk, as well as press and hold for panic. We'll go ahead, step inside of this one. Like I said, intelligent entry, just walk up, press the door handle to unlock, and press again. To lock also press twice and it will unlock all four doors stepping inside you can see this one does have the black cloth interior manual driver's seat down below to you can see your puddle light go ahead and start it foot on the brake and just press right here we'll go ahead close the door just have the key fob inside and you're all good to go. And once you're inside of this Altima, as you can see, this one does just have the standard steering wheel. Nice and light power steering. On the wheel itself, you do have your cruise controls. Over to here on the door up top, it's all a soft padded material. You can see your door handle locks right there. All of your power windows, power locks, power mirrors, your rear window lockout as well. On the door, it's all a nice soft padded cloth around here. Padded cloth on your armrest and everything like that. Over here, your trunk release, as well as traction control on and off. And then up top, the dashboard itself is all soft touch, padded material all the way around. Very nice and high quality. In the middle, you can see your gauges, your tachometer, speedometer, and then on this side, your fuel gauge and engine temperature, as well as your odometer. You can see this one has just over 142,000 miles on it. In the middle, this display, you can bring up all kinds of different things, controlled by over here different settings, your MPG meter, average, distance to empty, which that's also why that warning light is on, it's just because this car is almost empty, and your outside temperature, it's very nice for what it is. In the middle, your air vents up top, hazard controls right there, then you can see your audio system, which this is just the standard system. Very nice, simple to use though, and it really does sound great for what it is. All of your preset stations, your auxiliary in right there, AM, FM, CD, otherwise, very simple to use. And like I said, it really does sound great. Below there, single zone manual climate control. You can see your fan speed, where you want the air coming from, and then your temperature over here, as well as AC on and off. Defrost controls and all of that. Down below, more storage right there. And then you can see the shifter for the CVT or continuously variable transmission this one is equipped with. Back here, underneath of this cover, two cup holders, as well as some storage. And back here, you do have a padded armrest with more storage inside. It is dual tier as well. You can see your power outlet down below. Seats in this one are very comfortable, padded, nice cloth. They're almost like a velour material. I mean, just super high quality and comfortable. You can see too, 140,000 miles, and they have held up great. Um, up top, you have your interior lighting, as well as your sunglasses container right there. You can see your manually dimming your view mirror. I mean, overall, just really not a bad place to be inside of here. Like I said, these have aged very well for what they are. Too. Step out, unlock everything, driver side window down, and pop the hood. So let's pop the trunk. Go ahead, step into the rear seat, and on the door, everything follows through material quality-wise with your padded cloth, padding up top. And stepping in, 
I'm six foot two, and I mean, this seat is leaned back a lot further than I would sit, but can still sit back here perfectly fine. Do have back seat pockets down below. And it's the same, very nice plush material as up front. In the middle, do have an armrest, two cup holders. And up top, you can see your handles. This is your lighting on the sides. Not a bad place to be by any means. This would be a perfect car for something like Uber or Lyft. It's a cheap daily people hauler. Go ahead and step out. You do have your child locks built into the door right there. Inside the trunk, you can see plenty of space inside of there. You have your back seat releases up front, as well as your Ultima trunk liner. Down below all of that, you do have your spare tire. Below all of that is your spare tire, jack storage, everything else. Honestly, too, very nice amount of space. Up top, you can see all this is nice and lined as well. On this side, everything follows through. As well as up front, you do have a manual passenger seat in this one. Once again, see your puddle lamps down below. And inside of the glove box, this one does include your state inspection certificate right there. As well as your owner's manuals all the way at the back. Typical Nissan, this thing has an absolutely massive glove box. You can also see your valet mode on and off right there. Up front, we'll go ahead and cut the headlights on. Headlights. And up front, you can see halogen headlights. And then under the hood, this one is equipped with Nissan's 2.5 liter four cylinder. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. That engine as well with the CVT will get excellent gas mileage with this car. And I know too the car did move up during this video. I had a customer behind me, so I had to bump it up a little bit. Go ahead, get back in, bring the automatic driver's side window back up, cut it off, move the key, and cut the headlights off. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't sitting in this vehicle, please let Bob Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.